Okay, so today I'm working on the IMAX, the importer exporter stuff. Although specifically in order to test the importers, you first need to have the ability to export. So it's actually going to be primarily exporters or entirely exporters, I'll bet, because I doubt I'll actually get to finish it all in one go. So as part of IMAX, uh, alongside the currently uh, using usable YAML libraries will be a binary that this is where this is where like the um, code for registering deregistering functions to import slash export uh, content to binary files will be situated. So uh, we've got the first one the include, we've got the source, we've got the test, we've got the to make list text uh, text file. Going to be basically a copy of this for the moment. Uh, changing out YAML for binary. Mm -hmm. That's not there. Uh, there's no ECS binary either. It's just IMAX and simulation. It's the only, the only uh, libraries you need to import for this. Uh, CMT in here. We're going to have, this is going to be like from the get-go, C compatible. Uh, I'm also going to need result.cpp to, to test the binary specific result values, error result codes. Um, so inside of here, bow, that's binary. Sources, target <clears throat> sources, we're going to have oh, binary, private, and we're going to have result.c to start off the entire everything. And in here, result.h, uh, I'm going to basically copy and paste these for the moment. So I can uh, get a specific set for uh, this particular library, IMAX YAML, binary case, match case, sorry, place all of those, scrap these, maybe not quite yet, maybe, I don't know, no, no, I'll just add them later, I think, something like this, register, I'll just start with the basics, and I'll re-add them as, as I find them necessary binary okay, got that we're gonna have result C these are gone YAML binary that uh ba, 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 ba. 20.22 that's good grabbing these Results, 20.2, binary, YAML binary, Carablam. Binary, do, 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 do. Okay, so about that, <clears throat> I need the test definition. Again, like that, have that, and that one, but not these ones, okay. Hmm. 
and then I need to add to this subdirectory. Not quite compatibility compatibility. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, almost, not quite. C by, uh, sorry, faux binary, faux, oh. IMX binary result. Okay, that appears to be all the uh, beginning groundwork for that. So, <clears throat> Moving on to the more interesting stuff. We've got two things for exporting. We've got the ability to register the exporter. Uh, yeah, that's going to register it with the general exporters. And then we have this, which is going to be like registering specific um, export functions for different resources and component data structures with just all of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so exporter and I mean, I could just do that, right? I could just kind of slap them all together. Really? I think so. I think I will. Okay, uh, let's just close everything. Not that much here. Put off to the side. Go off to the side. Okay, great. I only see. Okay. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to include quite yet, but I do need that. That's not what I wanted to do. At least. That. And then we're going to go for result set. So IMX binary exporter. We want to deregister it. There's currently nothing returned from that. Hmm. I, mean, I guess. Yeah, yeah. So, what exactly do I do in here? Inside of here, inside the exporter, sorry, no, sorry, the exporter registration, I'm just calling that. Okay. Okay. I want this to be C or C plus plus. This can just be C. So I'm gonna be adding that. We're gonna have this. We're gonna have. I mean, there's no name. There's no empty namespace in C, so I could just do what. Uh, I mean, what is this? This is, yeah. C, um, I 
I don't know. It's called binary. Whatever. So, standard version, which I don't actually really use right now. So, I need to include this. We just have the two functions, basically, which is going to be ah, that is another function that's inside of here, isn't it? That's what the include exporter is about, because inside of here is the declaration of this, which is the path that I'm exporting to and this simulation state. Hmm. Okay, it is what it is. these, get rid of the external C, so return that, well, exporter, I guess I just kind of have to declare it first. Uh, that equals C name. That's going to be some kind of function. So in that case, why don't I just do this, right? C exporter. Okay, actually. What am I doing? Get out of here. That, that, and the function, which I don't have quite yet, but I will in a moment. So then we're just doing that. This is an internal function here. Okay. So realistically, this will be <clears throat> up above. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to do this for the moment. Which will, of course, since it's for the moment, it will last forever, probably. So that it's going, hey, you know, link up to wherever this function is going to be defined somewhere down the line. Hmm. <clears throat> Let me get down to the interesting bits of the exporter. Dot C itself. And of course the functions up here, which you don't quite have, so let's see if we can uh that's not gonna yeah, okay, that's correct. It's expected, not correct. Correct it's the expected yeah, whatever. So <clears throat> in here I have the several bits. I have the synchronization and okay, this is C. I don't really have a great way of not of doing it this in C. So this is probably C. I'll fall back to that. Yeah, so change that up.
So, right. Having a shared sync, mutex, yes. We need a couple of functions now. When exporting, so this kind of goes back to the functions here. I need some kind of like um, type def of like when I'm hmm. Let's say for result set. I'm like doing you know follow on binary register resource function. Or for result set, so binary register component function. So what am I going to take? I'm going to take a char const star for the key. First of all, is the key? No, there's no key here, is there? Because would there be a key? You would pass in the function, you would pass in the type, component function, that, that. So you just, okay, you're just going around and. What did I do? It would pass back the data. You'd pass in the function, which that, and then would pass out the data, which in this case would be key and data together. Okay. Do I need to do this? Not really, I don't think. On the export side. Hmm. Okay, on <clears throat> for resource, it's pretty easy. It's a one to one relationship. Resource with resource. Resource with output data. Okay. But for an entity, there may be multiple components coming out. Which is why it's a vector here. That is not great. Okay, let's just kind of. Do I need a struct? I may need a struct of some sort. Which says, hey, this is. This is what? Some kind of set, which has a star of the star of the of the key, is like that sha whatever. Then we'd have the data, and then you'd have two data size, something like this. Um, hmm. <laughs> hmm. maybe or would it be a set of these sets? Like I mean, this would work for a resource set, like because it is just one to one for the moment. 
but like there's there could also be like um cases where I expand upon that where it's like key next like if you have an image texture and then you have like an HDR version of that which is like an add-on to the original image in that case oh my god my mind <clears throat> I may need to return more than one of these, basically, much like in this case. Unless I can figure out a way to do it in one go. Is there a way I can think of that? Can I do that? Or would it still be better to export them in some parallel form, maybe? Hmm. This is... This is... This is... Uh... No, 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 no. Okay, we'll just do something like this. We have the key with the data and the data size, and you have a, and then you have a type depth struct. That's which is just literally a set of these things. Or can I? Okay, if I'm returning them like that, then what I can do is. Uh, okay, to begin with, you're passing in, okay, uh, whoops, no, 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 type def function returns what? It returns co result set. That's what the internal function is going to return. Pointer, pfn, pointer function, something, blah, 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 and you pass in co result resource create info then you have un32 t star and then you have imx binary set you refer on a number of sets pointer pointer and i think that is going to be it. Pointer function for IMX binary resource. And then we have one for somewhat similar, which is going to be ah, pro and the ID. That. Now, of course, this does kind of mean we're going through things twice. Which could be quite expensive, couldn't it? Um, okay, this is definitely not a great. No, it's like hmm. Okay, I don't want to actually go through this twice now, do I? I really don't. I want to go through this once. So yeah, yeah, yeah. no, no, no. Return just one, like you pass in this structure, we return that structure, it has, um, something like this so that you only go through this function once that's going to be it do i not uh import 
of resource. Simulation will have resource, so yeah, that, that should be okay. Unexpected type name for IMAX binary set. Expected identifier. What do you think this is? Am I crazy? That's not going to happen. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Info, resource, create info. It's right there. So that should be definitely there. Okay, uh, let's just so it's just, it's literally just this type. It doesn't understand this. A private list without. I have results or that understands that type export uh, component event. Hmm. So it's literally just so. He doesn't understand what? Mistype. Nice. It's a typo. Okay, I think so that means you can go into the function once, you'll return once with the stuff it'll return out everything hmm So this will typically be set on the stack because you'll pass that in. This will be the extra stuff that's floating around elsewhere outside. With P data, P data, data size, and P key. <clears throat> I'm not sure. Are they separate? Keep them separate, perhaps? Probably for now. Yeah. Anyways. <clears throat> So that's how this is going to work, I guess. We're going to have to, we're going to be doing this. The register, and then we have that. I don't need to add function because it's part of that, maybe P PFM or yeah, I'll just add it. So it's more obvious, I think. P register, we need to export. No. 
Okay, it's a bit ugly. Not great. Type that. Stick these up here. Put this down to the bottom because it's going to be the least used. Okay, <clears throat> moving back to this side where we're going to include that we need to include we need to include a vector, we need to include nothing else for the moment. Include these and include these. These are globals, so hence the G. For the moment. Let's double check what we're um exporter. Down here, no, down here. Ah, uh, we lock, lock it with a exclusive lock. We go through. We see if it exists. If it does, return that. Otherwise, we add it and we leave. Okay, yeah, simple enough. Binary, binary, I need a result.h for this, which, much like before, is just a quick, uh, small little wrapper. I don't... Hmm? Got two here. Why? We're returning IMAX specific versions. Okay, yeah, yeah. Makes some sense. But I won't add it until I need it. Moment. Okay, and then we kind of got the same thing going on the backwards where we're doing on the deregistration. We're going, we find it, erase it if it's there, otherwise we return it wasn't there. Need to include algorithm for that. I don't want to do the same thing, but for the component, so we just kind of do simple enough. Uh, there, functionality not registered, already registered. Okay, then at this point, it's basically what the entry point. So that's the um, this function. So I need to like open up a um, hmm, how would I do this?
Hmm. Trying to think, like. Okay, so I'm basically probably going to do the same thing as I did for YAML, where I'm going to open up a bunch, a couple of files. No, this is going to be consolidated to a single file, but I need to open it in the temporary directory so I can write to it and then co uh, copy overwrite the current file if you know if when it's successful. And that's a simulation state. Okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Porter. Registration. This is kind of part of registration. Okay, so this is where it's located here, isn't it? Yeah, foe, RMS, blah, blah, blah. So this is mostly to do with finding the locations, dependency data, resource, indices, entity, indices, resource data. Hmm. What's this? Or is this, this is hiding here? Okay. Hmm. Oh, these need to be external C as well. That no result sets. We need that is not what I'm looking for. I want these, please. That. So for a good starting portion, it's going to be the same. Here we are. Standard error code for file system path stuff. Yeah, that makes sense. Destination path is the export path. If exists is directory. First of all, make sure the, the the destination we're about to write to is at a file. I don't want to accidentally overwrite the directory. It has to be a, either empty or a file of some sort. So I need to include. Is regular file is what I'm interested in. I need a log. I also need to kind of down log into just plain C as well, eventually. Uh, 
as binary as a binary file. To a new location, non file. Destination not file, okay, we'll do whatever. Create temporary locations. Okay, now I need to hmm. How am I writing out this file? Is a question. Okay, hold on, I gotta get them over drink. BRB. Okay, so I am uh, not actually going to do this quite yet. No, I'm not going to create temporary locations uh, quite yet. I don't really know what I need in the temporary locations yet. So what I'm going to do for the moment is I'm going to kind of go through the export stuff, find out what I need, and then kind of go back and do that. I'll just kind of have it all in memory for the time being. So... Uh, desync dot lock shared. Yeah, lock shared. Lock. Uh... So I need several things. Dependency data. Resource indices. <laughs> so I need all these little bits of data. So I don't have anything for exporting index data yet. So I'm going, to, I'm going to have to do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, for that we choose unlock shared. I don't have a result type quite yet. Basically be up here, yeah, okay. <clears throat> so first thing is... Hmm. This is being done locally, then I can work with that, can't I? Hmm. I think I can. Okay. E dependency data. I guess. For the size, this is going to be a part of the local stuff. So, it's going to take in the uh, full simulation data. It's going to return that. The 
let's see how we do it here. Hmm. We're not doing a try. We're doing this. We've got group ID. Should be what? Me 32. Yeah, we get the group ID, then we try to actually grab the group. I need the importers, do I? I guess I do. that okay that's good so if we don't if we didn't get a group leave otherwise we continue equals we need to have a beginning because if there's no groups then we we're just returning it no actually no just return that otherwise we'll just return early in here somewhere Importer get group name of L to export. And then see, okay. Um, hmm. <laughs> okay. I'm going to create a vector just to make things even easier for me. And it's going to be a vector of struct of, of what? Standard pair, but basically standard pair. Total name sizes, it'll be four bytes plus four bytes plus the strings time, times each, basically. Total name sizes equals zero. So we'll just add them all together, and then at the end, we'll just uh, get one single large. 
pointer of stuff. Otherwise, so what's going to happen is place back and pair of group ID and these group name. Go through all of those. Then afterwards, we're going to be doing. So there's nothing we're leaking out of here till the very end here. I need a binary. Is this going to equal total? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I need to. Need to add that. So it's. What is it? It is dependencies dot size times that, which is the size of. ID group plus size of your P, the name of the pen, the dependency name, which can be up to 32 bytes. It sounds a little bit much. I doubt it's ever going to be that size, but I don't know if I really want to fight over something like that. I don't really know. I don't know. Plus total. Name sizes. P star. Equals that equals malloc times malloc size of error out of memory. Okay, that's an already a very real thing. Very nice. So then at this point, we go through each of them. And add them. So, uh, auto and creator of dependencies. <clears throat> Void star, that's great. Do, 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 like that. Oops. P star of the we're just writing to it um for each of them first of all it's the group then the string length then the string Read out data. G data equals G new owl. And then we return. Okay. Mem copy to the uh, right pointer. Source, which is an iterator dot first of that. If 
FID. Same length. that <laughs> and then we got to do a swap which will not include no terminator. Okay, at the end of that, we have that. We have star p data size equals the arrow size. We get out of here. So at this point, we'll have Put those down there. <sighs> if salt set. Then we'd have to go to export fail, be down there, and then we'd have to do a bunch of things. If set dot not equal to success. Then I'd have to clear out all clear up the data I do have. Or no. If I have memory, then I can just use Google Cube. But I don't want to do that. I want to have the ability to kind of downgrade later. So so, mm -hmm. if this I don't have to do this here anyways, I, I just want to do that by default anyways. Source data.
Okay, I just want to kind of want to go through these in reverse order. Index data. Okay, and then that just frees up all the data that we may have allocated. The go all this is up here, so the go to's work. So at this point. Export Okay, something like this. This will have name sorry, resource. Okay, I'm not sure why I have that going on, but okay. Sim, sim state persistent. Same thing either way. Okay, gotta go up to here. Um, where? Up to here. Okay, we need results set. Okay, we need these three things. We're going to do file, hold on. Right, 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 right. Grab the data. Then we actually want to write the data, which is in here and in here. So, okay. Allocation size is going to equal size of ID index plus, um, no, 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 count plus that times the number of things in here. 
Yes. This is always going to succeed so far, except for in the case of, oh, you know, I'm not alloc I can't allocate because I'm out of memory for whatever reason. Okay, then at this point, we just kind of, first of all, um, <laughs> so we just that. From an it's new index. Times and it's just size of T. Oh yeah, right pointer. Got to advance that. Um, hold on. This is a vector of these indexes. I can just literally write out the whole thing in one go. Okay, yes. Uh, from recycled indices dot data, and it's recycled indices dot size times size of OID index, just like that, and and then we're done. Man, I could totally, if I knew the count ahead of, t ahead of time, rather than returning a vector. Wait, 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 wait. I can shortcut this. Right? No, no, no. No, I can't. Yes, I can. I can totally shortcut this. Hold on. Hold on. <clears throat> So what I can do instead is instead of resizing this, I can say hmm. Okay, how can I do this in a safe manner? Can I do this? No. Okay. <clears throat> what I can do is I can do this dot reset and it's standard bytes. Times, you know, how how is it? Cycle count. New standard byte of that. 
plus that times size of it's basically this, right? I want to do this. Times recycled down. I basically want to do this. Allocation size is going to equal this. Kind of do 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 p new l okay back 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 put these up here okay this is just equals zero it doesn't matter it doesn't it doesn't matter it doesn't matter what it is quite yet but it will matter when we get down here so alex size equals this. Then uh, new alloc equals malloc of alloc size so cycle count of that great. If we're going through repeatedly because of it keeps changing for whatever reason, free it, reallocate, or just realloc. Realloc. Just use realloc. Realloc, you new alloc, to alloc size. Ooh. <clears throat> yes. Try that. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. We have recycled count, so it's this. Plus size of UN32T for the count. So I need to kind of do what? You went that plus that. And then encompass this whole thing. Both in that. Okay. Then that becomes P new alloc. There we go. See, I don't have to do an allocation and copy stuff over. I just put it in place. Right from the beginning, and oh yeah, yeah. afterwards, um, then copy at the beginning of p new alloc. I need to put the next new index size of unit thirty two t at the beginning. No, 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 no. I need two of these. I need the count. Sorry. Oh, okay. No, no, no. Almost. Plus size of UN32T. Layout is next to index, index count, indexes. Okay, so we've got plus that, plus that, plus that. Start plus that plus that. Okay.
Ooh, I don't have recycle count. Get it, gotta get that outside of it. Something like that. Okay. That was a bit much, but it's all there now. So, resource, index data, we have that data, spat out now. Now <clears throat> comes this, okay. Let's see how I do it over here. Oh, it's right here, isn't it? Looking right at it. So I get total indexes. I go through each and do them one at a time, okay? I guess so. Um, yeah, I guess I kind of have to do the same thing, but how many? Okay, this would write it out correctly to the thing that would all be kept in memory, and that's fine in development, but not maybe for production. System group, okay. Uh, we update the sim state. We got the I'm not entire okay. I don't really want to go around um, copying memory into larger and larger things. So, what I'm going to do for the moment is rather than that, I'm going to return a vector, I think. Um, something like that. So it's going to be something like you know, uh, Fo IMX binary sets. That's you know all of these together basically. Sets would it be sets? Yeah, it's all sets. I'm just going to add them all together, bring them out here, and then I'm going to print them out. However, for the moment, so rather than do, 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 do the resource and entity data, okay, we're going to do that. Instead, we're going to, have to go through four auto on standard iterator of resource data sets. Iterator dot, okay, four. No, not that. 32t and 0. Uh, it's left in it dot set count. And then free it. Okay. So 
three. Oh yeah, something like that. So we need the group ID that we're exporting. Binary sets, star. I mean, since it's internal to the same file, I'm not too bothered by this. Let's see, contents with a vector. And neither should MSVC. Since that's usually the one that has problems with doing it. So. We're up here. We're, we're going to have result set. We're going to have unused indices, max indices. That's fine. Then we've got to go through. We've got to actually get the data. That's great. I can probably figure out a way to kind of later. Okay. Going to do that, and then we got to go through the basically this for loop. Or if it's one of the unused, continue. Uh, what? Hold on. <clears throat> okay, I'll come back to this later. That doesn't look right. That does not look like I'm pretty sure I should be searching or like that that's that's not right. That can't be right. If index is that because is this is this sorted? I don't think it's sorted. Uh, standard sort. Sort that if, and then we're going to go through as we increment. So we've got to do this. Uh, plus, plus unused. Then continue. That makes way more sense. I don't know how it was supposed to work before. Doesn't make any sense. It'd have to be the same thing here. Uh, it's probably just a case that I just like something I just never actually tested. Because uh, I've always had such small data sets and they've always been in order, I guess, or just not had unused indices. And I've screwed that up. And I'm not even testing this bit either yet. Okay, that's a bad idea. I'm gonna to have to figure figure it out somehow. How would I fit how would I figure this out? I would have to what? I don't know. I don't know is the answer, so sort unused is the beginning. Increment them if they match sort beginning increment if match okay yeah yeah p simulation resource name map blah 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 blah, blah. so we do the thing we're going to so we found a resource we got we found an, a used index. Grab this. I'm going to check if there's a resource name map. So it sh might have a resource name. Do, 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 do. Okay. 
if that and no break. Okay, okay. I need, I need to include uh, results. Do, 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 do. So this data would have been what? That is the YAML thing. Okay. This would go into something else even deeper. Export, sorry, not components, resource. Export resource, which would go up to here, which would then have to have itself. Uh, this stuff, okay. So we have this, we have this, we have the resource export functions. Okay. I don't know why we would have this. Don't need it. The simulation resource, the resource name, export resource. Okay. that right now I need to figure out where to put the resource name if I mean would I put it with the re with the uh, resource stuff as well I mean I guess yeah that kind of makes sense okay yeah yeah it'll be combined And post stimulation. Export resource and invalid ID. Okay, that's a very bad idea. Um, so we want to see git create info for resource. We get the resource, then we get the resource CI is null. If it's not equal, then we grab the resource CI from that. Otherwise, if the resource CI is still null, then what's going on? Then we're going to grab it from the simulation instead. If we can't find it from the resource directly, we'll go through the simulation, which would also have a way to retrieve it. If we're in production and we're exporting, saving, then we then it would be loaded in memory at all times because it'd be a temporary, transient type consider item. But if we're in a development environment such as this, it would have to go to the simulation as a backup. Not this, and then we'd have to go through this where we'd have to find what. We've got to go through the the resource functions. So that would have been a key data pair, but that's not anymore. This is binary sets. Oh my God. Hmm. 
realistically, I would want to return. Ah. Okay, this is, this is the point where we're returning the, the, this. Would we though? Oh, I don't know. Okay, I need I need to take a break from this. I don't I don't I'm I've ground I'm spinning my wheels right here. I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing. I need to take a break. I need to kind of clear up my mind a little bit. I need to kind of think this through a bit more. I mean, I have a much better idea of the problem space now, so I'll probably come up with something, but I can't quite think of it right now. So, uh, BRB, basically. Okay, so, having a bit of a think about this is, obviously, okay. What's going to happen here is, I'm still going to go through each of these functions, but rather than uh, returning a set, I'm going to return an in a single, let's say, uh, so IMX binary set, just one. And so that's empty, blah, 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 blah. Actually, no, it doesn't, yeah, yeah, it could just be, it could just be that, whatever. I want to return, put that through. <clears throat> a create info can only return one set. But a create info can have like a P next that goes into other things, but we'll go through those individually. So now what we want to do, rather than a failure here, like if uh, result set dot value for success, then we want to add uh, this set to uh, the total list of binary things. So then we get down to what was it, P binary sets. Got in place back set. Just add that A pointer. P binary set. This we would want to return the uh, yeah. And rolling back to the exporter, we're returning each. Okay, for this, for function, for resources, we're returning one. Just set that. We'll put that in, we're returning that. Okay, we've got that. <clears throat> Going back to this. Do, 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 do. Export resource. This can be returning. Okay, I need to pass in this still to this. And then P binary sets in place back set. Yep, that's correct. Hmm. Give me a vector of sets. Like this. Rolling on down to here, resource set. <clears throat> resource if success, else. Okay. Um, if it's less than zero, then it's an error. If it's greater than zero, then it's some kind of like whatever. I don't I don't know. Buffer error. If not found, 
then we want to return like an error of some sort. Else, success. Okay. <clears throat> Those we want to return to, so result, climax, binary, error, fail to resource, something like that. Uh, found equal false and then just break out what we're going to do we break out we go down there or go to go to that <clears throat> something like that if it's success otherwise it's that Okay, I want to do like log uh, fill on the binary error. Um, build export resource, blah, blah. blah. Okay. Info, blah. Get error. Um, blah blah. So I need the resource ID, the <clears throat> simulation. I'm oh, sorry, not simulation. The source, the age info type. I get type, and then we got the error, which is this. I need to do figure out the uh, buffer error code. So what is that? Oh, char set. Yeah, yeah. Oh, for the yeah. exception okay see that that's easy because <clears throat> this is just returning except uh exceptions all over the place is it in here that i'll have like buffer stuff string okay this is the uh, here we go so char that result to string equals that with that error found false that we get out of here okay Else, it's a positive value above success. So, mm, I'm not entirely... Okay, has... Ooh. Ignore, I guess. That's all I'm going to do for now. I think I should return... everything I'm interested in. Okay, so this 
goes down to here, which returns this, which I need to pass in the end. Let's see, wait, hold on. Yeah, key binary set. If result dot value equals o success, <clears throat> then we're going to have to do something. It needs to be after this point, and it's going to have to be where I just break. Return result from here. Okay. Then it would come out to here. Resource sets, and then from here. Hmm. <laughs> And then I want to do same thing for the entity component data. I'm not mm, quite going to do that yet. Until I refine the resource data, I'm not going to do the entity components since that'll be basically a copy. Anyways, so what I want to do is actually want to get these other error codes in and then actually export one of the base uh, data data sets, you know, the data A, which is just, um, not that one then. That's also entities. Dang it. Why, what is this? Why is this here? Okay, I can live with this, right? This is just an entity. I can remove a single render mesh, have everything else render. I just need the resources. I want to test that I could get the resource data, dependencies, and the index data. Oh my god, the external data. Oh no! I completely forgot about exporting that stuff too. Hmm, yeah, okay. That's going to be for another session for sure. Importing and then re exporting that stuff. <clears throat> Not, yeah. happen okay uh error codes but result codes okay so i need export stuff right uh fail to export dependencies okay fail to export resource okay Destination not file. Okay. We need to add these three to here. Three. Get this over here. Okay. This is not different link language linkage, really. You're right. You are correct. Should also be up down here. So that's that. Okay.
Okay. <laughs> what am I looking for IMAX binary instance for? Oh, the log, the log, um, <clears throat> the log file, right? Export registration, exporter, log.cpp, result.c is already there. Okay. So that's all there. What I want to do then is I don't even care if it's exporting correctly or anything. I just want to kind of hook it into the rest of the system. So I have a base that I can start like doing exports, seeing the results and iterate through that. And then I'll add the importer on the other side. I just want to make, I just want to be able to run this a bit of a thing. So, where would this go? I have it in here somewhere. Result, register. Would it be here? Yeah, it'd be in here, wouldn't it? <clears throat> um, physics, spring up. IMAX YAML. Okay, so that's one of them. Where's this even loaded from? It's brought in from this. Okay. <laughs> Binary. Oh, I mix binary. So we go back into here. We have that, 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 that. Whoops. Let's see if we can even do that first of all. Binary lib. One, two, three, four. See, we don't have the importers yet, so it's just that equals nothing. Access elements, you're correct. There's now six. Compile fast. Okay, uh, let's just see. Uh, I'm not debugging the right thing. Do that. Main application, does it crash right off the bat? No, it doesn't. Nice. If I was to go to save as, there's only YAML there. Okay. So it's not quite there. Could not find IMAX deregister importer. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Whoops.
Wrong way. Can we? Try that again. Okay, nice. Ah, cannot find full IMAX register exporter and plugin module due to error undefined symbol. Really? Register faux IMX binary register exporter, right? It, that's that. That is that. We go to exporter registration. No, 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 this is C. This is C. This, this is already here. Yeah, copy paste. Leading to typos. Can I get into here? Just want to know. Yes, I'm in here. Yes, perfect. I go inside. I'm registering this exporter, which has what a binary version of zero and a function that's great we carry on we're in we can save as we have a second option available yes okay Um, okay, so I guess I just, I just have to try it now or what I realistically want to do right now. Since I'm going to be iterating on this, uh, very heavily. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set it to automatically save um, every, like a few seconds after program startup, using this code, <clears throat> rather than doing XR turn on and off stuff. I'm going to have it automatically pull and export the stuff. Just automatically save it few seconds after launch, which will be not 10 seconds, but three, two seconds after. It's going to do stuff. It's going to call the stuff. And I need to grab from I am GUI and save. I need to grab the code that does this. And then I want to run. Where is it? This at the end of it. Okay. So this grabs both exporters. I know that right now, <clears throat> because of the loading order, it's always going to be the second one. I gotta find it there. You. So I'm gonna be doing the second one. It's the file path name is going to become test save wherever the hell I am right now. And it's not that, it's simulation set. One, two seconds, we're in, we're going in. It is actually a file. Do I have like a leftover from earlier? I do have a leftover, just empty directories. That's fine. 
But hey, you know, at least I could uh, test that that's something that's happening. Go on. Hey, that's bad. Because this needs to start off like that. It needs to start off as null. One, two. Okay, I can really shut, uh, shorten that down to like half a second. I don't know. Just one second. Or even within half a second, we'll do it. And then every five seconds afterwards, okay. Close that up, close that up. Close things to the right. Just close all this. Let's see. Let's, no, I'm going to follow this. I'm going to make sure it's doing what I think it does. Export dependency data. We'll go in. Okay. We're going to go through. go through we're at alloc size we have two dependencies okay total name sizes is 16 okay I guess really the data a and the data yeah okay We write that out. Write the string out. We go on to the second one. Right pointer is incremented even more. The right pointer is now the, the data B. One, hold on, one, two, three, four, eight. Yeah, and then it should be a zero, although it's only eight, so I don't know. It's just the luck of the draw that there's a zero at the end, I guess. Patient size, new alloc. We'll return that. Okay. That's something. And that's something. This is only eight. I guess. That and zero. Okay. We go into here. This is going to return absolutely garbage because we're never actually. Re oh, yeah, 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 because it's. Um... <sighs> Value to. ID value to group of zero. So I can actually have some stuff to test. But I'm pretty sure that's exactly that's oh no, that's also happening on the other side, isn't it? This no, maybe something. I'm looking at no yeah, yeah I'm looking at the wrong thing exporters in here is currently printed uh, trying to put out yeah group zero and same thing on the end on the resource side because it will bring up Ooh, that's not right That's not right, but I'll do it for now. Value to group. That should give me some actual resources to, to 
spit out. I already tested this. Okay, thank you pretty much. So, yes, there we go. We actually have a thing. Seven, which is just saying, hey, it's not right. We're not actually testing the output of this stuff. Um, it's about two hours, isn't it? Okay. So at this point, I need to add some resource exports something i just need to add them all basically okay so i'll do that off lot I'll, I'll, I'll call it there for now i'll add like the resource exporter binary whatevers uh that use the you know the read write calls since they're basically going to be the same thing as um yaml the yaml one so if i look at an example of physics libs yaml Include source. Yeah, it's going to be something like this, where it's going to be the stuff to get the create info and to print it out, return the data, and register the calls out. Mm hmm. Maybe I'll do it offline. Maybe I'll do it online. I don't know. But for now, I'm going to have to stop there at a time. So until next time, cheers.